What is up everybody, it's ADHD for me and I'm coming back at you with the Simpsons Tapped Out update. I've gotten a lot of questions over the past couple years about Simpsons Tapped Out and I wanted to address them here. And yes, the hack is still working. I'm using Bluestacks, the most updated version, and also using Cheat Engine. And I'm not sure if it's updated, but it doesn't seem to matter too much if it's updated or not. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Cheat Engine, because as you see, I already have Simpsons tapped out open. Click yes. Now I'm going to click in the upper left hand corner because I want to attach Simpsons tapped out from Bluestacks to Cheat Engine so I can search within the game. So I click the little magnifying glass inside of the monitor and then you want to make sure you're on the processes tab, not windows, not applications, processes. And the only process you should select when dealing with Bluestacks specifically is hdplayer.exe and click open. Okay, now we're attached. So the next thing we need to do is establish a baseline for the value we want to search for. And in this case, we're going to use XP because it's the most specific thing we can search for. So in this case, we're using the XP here is 36719. And that will be the first thing we search for in Cheat Engine. Go. 36719. And go first scan. Okay, 1,627 results. Now I'm going to collect money from here and it's going to boost my XP by a little bit, a few points. Okay, so it changed. 36834 is now what it's at. I'm going to change cheat engine. Go 36834 and then next scan. Okay, now I have these four values here and they will likely all stay about the same, but we can test that. Okay, so now they should be at 36949. And they all changed. So the first thing you can do is you just go to highlight all these by holding down the left mouse button and going over them and hit the red arrow and they'll all add to your list. The next thing you want to do is you look at the end number of the level. So the end number here is 126451. For the XP, you want to change it to, because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to earn donuts so it can track donuts. So you go to, because every level you earn donuts. So you go type in 126450 because that's the last bit before you level up. So I will highlight all of these. Whoops. Hold down shift. Click on the bottom. Right click, change record. Change value. And it's 126450. We'll go 126450. Okay, so the next time I collect, X, collect XP, it should level me up. Didn't get any for that one, but I will for that. See, it level up. So now I have, I started at eight, now I have 10 donuts. So that allows me to open up the next tab. Fi go to file, add scan tab. This is when you're searching multiple values and type in 10 and go first scan. So you'll see my XP reset to 382. I'll go collect another one. We're at 382. We know we're using the same value. Sometimes it can change if the game restarts. So just be aware of that. So our end value is 126831. So we'll do 126830. 126830. Okay. And when we collect XP, boom, level up. So now we're at 12 donuts. If you look at that here, I'll scan again, and I'll put in 12 and hit next scan. We're at 101. And if you, sometimes you can click next scan and leave it on 12 and it'll 
reduce. In this case, it hasn't, so we'll have to level up again. Just check it a few more times. Sometimes it'll, if you move around the map and you click other things, like collect some more XP, let me in. Yep. Then a random mission starts. Do it. Those values might change. See, a lot of them did, so I can narrow it down again to 36 values. So let's do this again. So I'm at 76. The end value here is 127211. So I want to do 127210. Gonna select all these. Hold down shift. Change record. Value. And what did I say? 126210. 126210. I hit OK. My XP in the game will change. And then I'll collect XP again. Oh, OK. I, I, whoops, I think I went actually went over here. And it's. Oh, what, what's happening? Collect. I went over, so one two six two eight nine. No, I I went way under. <laughs> one two seven two one zero is what it should be at. So I'll go to one two seven two one zero. Change record value. One two seven two one zero. That'll put me one XP before the level up. Now I should level up. Yep. Two more donuts. So now I'm at fourteen. Now, there should be only a few values that are left at 14. Next. So we got four values. And another way you can tell sometimes if the values are right is if they generally start with the same few digits. So here you see 208A, 208A, 207, 207. CCE4, CCD4. Those are in the same section. Basically, they're close. These other values, you have 209684. 209684. 8B8. 8B8. 6 8B878. 8B870. And then you have 2098EA. 2098 2098EA. 2098 64 Three zero six four three eight. So these are the correct values. They're in the same format. So this is where it gets fun. You want to select all these. And I wouldn't change it to anything crazy. Um, let's just go to... And you want to make sure it's like a... I always try to make sure, because I'm paranoid, I like to make it like a strange number, not a number that seems to sus. One, five, eight... Nine six. I don't know. I mean, that's quite a bit, but let's see if it worked. Sometimes you'll get disconnected from the server when you do this. One four. So now what I want to do is I want to go try to buy something. So it says new down here. Go to the vault. So you get, I click 30, enter, it let me buy it. So now I have 15,876. So now you can go into the store however you like. And you can pick up, I don't know, a hot air balloon. These types of things I don't really like to buy because it's just junk. It doesn't really do anything for you. But you can pick it up, you can buy it. Okay, I'm at 15 bonus items, cool. Don't really care about that. So you can do the same thing with your cash. With your cash, it becomes a little bit easier because cash is so uh, specific. So you can just do like what I did in the beginning to with the XP with cash. You search under four bits. If I wanted to change the amount of my cash here, I would type in the exact number that it is, which is 32661846. Three two six six one eight four four six. Good memory. Go to new scan, first scan. And it's so specific, like 
only a few addresses should pop up. When I change my money, all of those should change to the right number. The ones that changed are in red. So we know these are our values. And they should follow about the same format, 208A, from the previous section here. 208A2, 208A2, 20968, 20968, 20968, 20968, 20983EA, 20983EA, 20983EA. So we know we're in the right values. And when you change these, you want to change all four at the same time. Uh, sometimes it'll narrow down further so you'll get closer to the right values, but this just seems to work the best. Um, another thing, I've opened up a lot of land in this map specifically. Um, so this is kind of interesting. I can use a land token. Uh, I don't know if there's any other places where I can use this land token. I might have freed them all up by now, but let's take a look. We'll see where we're at. Yeah, we're still pretty far out here. And land tokens are things that are actually very hard to come by. You actually need to play through the game to get them. Certain missions will unlock them. I don't know what missions those are, but they are important. Um, yeah, so here's a land token area. You can see I have 94,367, so I can just use the land token to unlock things. Um, but this is a, a value you'll want to track in the 4-bit range also to be able to unlock all the land that you can. And it will take forever because there's a lot of land to unlock. Kaboom! Let's see. Got Ludacris. I'm guessing it's Luda. Alcaraz, in this case. Kaboom! Ronald Reagan. I've done a lot of building here. Let's see if there's, there's probably... These are probably... No. Okay, so that is all the water parts. Um, another thing you can do, which is kind of kind of weird, is... See, I just changed that. So I can make a boardwalk section. Let's see how many boardwalk I have in my inventory right now. So we'll go to, I don't remember where it's held. I think maybe if I just try to create a new one here. Oops. <laughs> okay. So I should be able to tell by here, I have one boardwalk in my inventory. And you can do the same thing with your inventory if you don't want to spend a whole bunch of time building out your boardwalk. You will go to, um, I rarely search by one. So in this case, you want to use your newfound money. Make boardwalk section, speed it up. Use your newfound donuts to speed it up. And then let's start with two. So there are two in my inventory now. And we can do that by editing the map. Scrolling down, we have two. So that's the first thing I'll search for. I'll just search for two. There we go. Now, another interesting thing you can do is you can hold down and then put this in your inventory. So now I have three in my inventory. I thought, maybe not. That's weird. It's showing us two. What if I put that back? Okay, now it's updated to four. So I can go to four. Yep. And then we put another one in there. Should be a five. Which it may not reflect yet in the value, but in the back end it probably did. Five, there we go. Um, is that six for some reason now, that one? But now we're gonna say these values, which do not reflect the other one. See, now, now they're moving around, now they're not tricking me. But the true value should now be six, because I just put another one in my inventory, and it looks like there's only one value that corresponds to that. So I'm gonna change that value to 36. Okay, let's see if that worked. I'm gonna place the boardwalk. Didn't work. 
Interesting. Well, that's something I'll have to go back to the drawing board, board for. Yeah, so they're showing it four. There's the boardwalk. Boom. And sometimes these things will only catch up once you log back into the game. And you'll see that your inventory is full. Um, yeah, still at three. And this might actually be an advanced tutorial because right now we're just searching by four bits. But we will actually want to be searching by, or four bytes, my bad. We'll actually, we might want to search by either float or double. Uh, float is generally better for whole numbers and double is better for decimal points. But we will get into that another time. If you have any questions, um, you can reach out and I can record another video on this. Let me know if you need help. I have a Discord that's linked in my YouTube. Come on in hang out have fun but i've been i've been it's adhd for me and i'm signing off thank you